Hello and welcome to this video. It is about FMEA MSR and how it is used in our software Plato 1. This is a practical guide, so I will not speak much about methodology, but you should of course read the corresponding chapter in the FMEA handbook first. So only a few words um, regarding what it is MSR. It means it stands for monitoring and system response. And uh, this new form has been part of the new FMEA volume, the harmonized FMEA standard of IAG and VDA since 2019. So this is brand new. Um, a common trigger for doing the MSR FMEA is when you find out in the classic uh, risk analysis from the design FMEA that high risks are left and there's no way for you to reduce them further. For example, you have a high action priority value of uh, well, high or medium and you can't lower it. And uh, this is where um, the new FMEA MSR comes into play because um, it looks at the, it or it takes into account the contribution of monitoring and reactions. So this is something that is not um, really taken into account in the classic FMEA, but here the focus is on monitoring and reactions and there you can prove that you have good monitoring functionalities and that you can react in a fast time before the failure effect, the bad failure effect happens and that you're able in this way to block that bad failure effect and that you are able to switch to um, a less severe failure effect. For example, in what we'll see in, in the software is an example of an airbag system. The airbag uh, could trigger in the wrong situation while you're driving because of some signal failure or something, you have electronic parts which may fail. And um, we don't want that, of course, that the airbag explodes into the face of the driver while driving. So there's a monitoring functionality, which is always uh, well closely monitoring what happens and is able to detect very, um, very fast that something wrong, wrong is going on and it can switch then, it can switch off the airbag system and instead um, well, deactivate it and inform the driver that it's simply deactivated. That is quite similar to what happens to other uh, technical systems in your car when you're driving in the winter time, for example, and your sensors are, um, well, are full of dirt or snow and they cannot work. So instead of the car uh, running into the next car while you're in a traffic jam, what happens? The system will simply tell you, look, I'm deactivated, the red light is blinking and you know that it's not working anymore. So just two examples of um, where this could be used. Let's have a look at the software. Okay, we are now in Plato 1 in the module 1 Architect. It is important to understand that um, FMEA MSR, um, it's a combination of working in 1 Architect, assigning functions to failures and working in the form sheet in 1 methods. In this example, as I said, it's the airbag system. This is our product level. We have certain sub elements. There's a, an assembly at the central airbag control system, which contains the PCB and some components on that PCB and some other parts, which we don't look at now. It is also um, an example which connects functional safety and MSR. This is closely connected. I will not go into details here. If you like, we have other examples or other um, presentations that help you to understand the connection between those methods. Um, the classic analysis of the FMEA was done before through all those levels, the classic FMEA steps analysis, analysis where you connect functions with functions like here or when you connect a failure with another failure. In this case, this is our failure effect or top level failure effect, which is uh, also connected to the severity in this case of a 10 because the airbag system, when it triggers without accident situation, that is safety relevant, so it's a 10. And um, make sure for later that you, that you always have a second failure effect, which is where the system can switch to. Otherwise, this will not work. This is um, um, something where some customers uh, struggle with, so keep this in mind. And you need to connect this failure, of course, to both failure effects the worst one with severity 10 and then another one with a lower severity. So that's classic FMEA analysis. Let's have a quick look at the form sheet. I'm switching to to that uh, to Ein's methods with the DFMEA form. We can see it here. It's now on the central on the on the middle level on the central airbag control system 
and it's just a classic FMEA. From left to right, functional analysis, failure analysis, and then, well, in real life, you would have found out that uh, your actions are not enough. You cannot lower the action priority below, I don't know what, maybe it's, maybe it's not high, maybe it's something medium. But your conclusion is, no matter what you do, you cannot lower the AP right here. So you need to do something else. And this is when you can use the MSR form. The MSR form is available also here as an additional form. It's, well, it's simply called DFMA with MSR. And you will then notice that the, the right part of the form will, will be replaced with some uh, new columns. And this happens right now. The first parts are identical function analysis, failure analysis, but then here those red colored columns, they are new. And um, well, they're, at first they are empty, of course. And how to fill them? Well, the trick is to use Einz Architect. So let's go back to Einz Architect and then I can show you how this is done. So we are right here. Um, now it's important to switch to the MSR view because this is something, well, new that you are, are now allowed to connect functions with failures. This is something which is not done in the classic FMEA analysis. There you can only connect functions with functions and failures with failures. So let's have a look. As you can see, there are no checkboxes anymore available. But instead, you find this drop down menu where you can assign a function to a failure. And this was done right here. Only thing is, you need to know which one is the function that monitors and which one is the function that's used for response. And according to that, you can select from the menu. So this function checks speed change of, uh, of crash sensor for plausibility, that is monitoring, and the other one below. That's for the response. That's all. And it means that this failure effect is then blocked. And um, as I said before, make sure you have a second one which is available, which you can use uh, in your analysis, where you can switch to. And then if you, you look at the FMEA form, the MSR form, then you can see that those columns for current monitoring controls and for current system response, they will be filled according to what we have selected in the architect view with monitoring and response. Well, also some other columns are available. As I said, please have a look at the FMEA handbook. It is explained what you can fill in here. Those percentages, they allow you to lower a little bit, um, for example, the frequency value or um, the monitoring value. Um, what else can you see? Well, from now on, since you have now selected some, some functions for monitoring and for response, you can see that this failure effect with a 10 is blocked by the function. If crash sensor data is not plausible, deactivate the airbag system. So that happens. And instead of using the 10, the next failure effect will be used. In this case, it is, uh, well, the deactivation of the airbag system and an, an, an error code or error message is displayed in the cockpit. Red light is blinking information to the driver. So that's a six. And this information is repeated on the right side. You can find it here. There's, a, there's the six severity of uh, the failure effect after MSR. And also the 10 again is repeated right here. Well, and according to your current risk analysis in the MSR form, it's either enough right now. You can see here, it's uh, the action priority is lowered to an L to low, or if it's still not low enough, then of course you can uh, start to, to uh, introduce new MSR actions. So this is the way how to do it. As a conclusion, make sure you have two failure effects available, one which you want to block and the other one where you want to switch to, and then make sure an architect that you select the functions for monitoring and response, and then you can switch to the MSR form and fill in the rest of the columns.